All right, so we have the 2024 Ram heavy duty not super duty uh, and this is the 2500 is it actually worth the upgrade from the 2023 heavy duty or the 3500 are there changes there that may be appealing to someone who has a 2023 or wondering whether they should just pick up 2023 off the lot or just order a 2024 version of the ram heavy duty um, we're going to explore the different options, the prices, and the changes happening in the 2024 Ram Heavy Duty lineup. And honestly, there's not much changes. Make sure you all subscribe to this channel. We're almost at over 800 subscribers trying to reach that soon. So please be sure to hit subscribe. All right. So the Heavy Duty, obviously, just like all the other Ram products, all the <laughs> Dodge products, there's no refresher to how it looks. It looks exactly the same as it's been looking for the past five, six years. Uh, no major differences at all. Uh, the 2024, the only major difference is that they're adding this heavy duty, now includes a tail light, a jar warning lamp as standard equipment across the lineup. That's the only new for 2024 that they have on Stellantis official product North America news release news media page. Like that's all they put because they know they know they're not doing nothing really. They're just going going to increase the price and and that's pretty much it. And so yeah, of course you have um, the towing up to thirty seven thousand pounds for. Uh, the 3500 20,000 for 2500 payload is 7680 for the 3500 power is 410 horsepower 429 uh, pounds feet of torque with the 6.4 liter hemi v8 and of course these are the different engine options we've talked about the v8 and then you have the coming standard output at 370 horsepower and this is the turbo diesel 850 pounds feet of torque Okay, that's for Ram 2500 and the 3500. And then you have the 6.7 liter Cummins high output turbo diesel produces 420 horsepower, 1,075 pounds feet of torque, only available in the Ram 3500. Now, configurations for the 4x2 and the 4x4. I think it's interesting that you can get a 4x2, a two wheel drive with, with the heavy dude. I feel like all wheel drive should be standard for these size of vehicles, right? But anyways, you, of course, you can have a regular cab with eight foot bed. You'd have the six foot by four, six foot by four, the mega cab um, with the four by four and then the eight foot cab. These are the lineups, power wagon that they recently introduced, not the power wagon, the rebel they recently introduced, um, which is very similar to the power wagon. Um, and then you have these colors and things available. So let's go build one right now on ram website so on ramchucks.com um you have the options right here and they have the different years so 2022 the bitcoin was at 48 now it's at 50. so around two thousand dollar increase yeah around a two thousand dollar increase so what we're going to build we're going to build a what do you guys want we could do the power wagon we could do the rebel Honestly, these look exactly the same. Look at that. Um, let's do a Laramie. And let's do a six foot four. Do I want a mega cab? I don't really care about a mega cab. So we'll just keep it that amount. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do a i6 turbo diesel engine with like 850 horsepower and so that increased the price a ton 82,000 but honestly let's just let's just we'll find with a regular v8 let's just do that just to see if people just want a heavy duty but they're not going to be doing a lot of heavy duty things maybe just towing their trailer and things like that you know all of these things are standard i, I don't think i would change much Maybe I'll get different um, options for towing and things like uh, uh, like that. Let me see. What, what what do they have here? Let's add some tow hooks. You know, let's add this towing technology group. 
Okay. Do I want a sunroof? I would want a sunroof. But it's only a, a single pane one. So we'll just keep it at that. That's at 74,000. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to the 3,500 because I want to see the high output engine for the 2024 Ram 15, 3,500 now. And so let's go big. So the Ram 3,500, let's go Laramie 4x4 build crew cab 6x4 bed. And we're going to do the high output engine for almost $13,000 more. And we were at 83,000. So these are the prices that you're dealing with if you want something like this. All right, you all? If you want fancy groups, you know, Laramie group, all these things, y'all can have that, but that's ridiculous at these prices. You know, some people buy heavy duties just to drive around. <laughs> you know, some people do that. I'm all like, what? But um, here we are, 83,000. I wouldn't even add much to it. So let me know you all's thoughts on the Ram 2500, the Ram uh, um, Rebel heavy duty, or the, uh, would you rather get the heavy duty or would you rather get the power wagon? Let me know down below. Make sure you all subscribe and I'll talk to you all later.